So whether you're new or experienced Monster Hunter, many of you here may not know the full uses of the Scout Flies and how much they can help you out with your quest. In today's video, I'll be providing a guide on knowing everything about the Scout Flies and how they can aid you with your hunts. Now, the Scout Flies' main purpose are to hunt down and find the monster you meant to kill or capture for the quest objective. But at the same time, it can also help you with finding materials that'll be used to craft and build your gear around, which you're going to be relying on for 90% of your adventures. The Scout Flies act on their own to a degree when searching for things but you must give them clues and hints so they know what to track for. For example, when searching for monsters, you're told to look out for unique marks that the monsters tend to leave within different zones, like mucus, scales, feathers, and trail marks. These will all be different and unique depending on the monster, and finding these will give you a big leverage in finding the monster straight away, as the moment you find a monster mark and you examine it, your scout flies will lead you to their exact location on the map, but this depends if you find a trail for them first, and it also depends on what level of monster mark you're in. Now, when you examine the mark, pay attention to the bottom right of the screen. There will be a little monster bar that goes up the more information you find. This bar has levels to which upgrade your scout flies and tell you where the monster will be. Each examination will give you a point towards the bar, from 5 points for looking for footprints to 10 points for finding monster marks. Reaching level 2 in the bar will show you the exact location the monster is in but it won't outright tell you which monster it is, unless you've actually seen them. And level 3, I believe, shows the monster and the location they'll be going to next. Now, finding these marks aren't always easy, as they can be placed anywhere on the world map, and since the world map is so large, you're going to be searching for them for quite a while. Sometimes, you'll even be prompted with a notification telling you that the mark is nearby, but your scout flying may not show you the way. However, this isn't the only way of finding a monster. The way to find a monster is through their footprints, which will be one of the most common and easiest methods of tracking down a monster. When your scout flies notify you about a footprint, you can examine it so your scout When your scout flies notify you about a footprint, you can examine it so your scout flies can start piecing together the location through the information provided. However, unlike your unique monster marks left in the world, footprints won't straight up show you the location of the monster through those points, but rather show you the direction the monster went in. And by that it means you need to pay attention to where the footprints are going, as your scout flies will tell you if a footprint is nearby but you need to check and see which location it goes in. If you go ahead and you follow those footprints, not only do you collect points that can upgrade your scout flies, but also show you the location the monster is heading directly to, which makes it a lot more easier for hunting the monster and then, and then overall hunting it down. But you must remember that when you find a footprint, you need to collect and examine the mark. Examine the footprint so you get points. And when these points go to your scout flies, your scout flies will be able to then pinpoint where the exact location the monster's in. So remember, find the footprint, see which direction it's going into, follow that exact location it's going into while you're collecting the points, and then eventually you can open up your world map and see where the monster is located to. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. Also, this hasn't been mentioned anywhere else, but I found a Reddit post that states that if you max out your scout flies by examining every monster detail left around the world, your minimap will place a giant X in the location the monster will be going to next. So if you're struggling to find the monster, or you want to place a trap before the monster arrives, then search for those monster marks and footprints, and make sure you max it out fully, because doing so will allow you to be more prepared, and allow you to get a upper hand against the monster. Now there is a third option I found which acts the same as if you examine a monster trail, but it varies, and it's something I would need to further investigate if true. Within the ancient forest, within one of the zones, you may find a dead carcass of a, a Pontonov. When you investigate the body, your scout flies will gain the location of a monster that last eight there. And now, this is kind of the tricky part that I've been kind of confused with. When I went ahead and examined that dead carcass, it showed me the location of a monster, but it wasn't the monster of the one I was hunting. It was actually a completely different monster, which kind of tells me that either it, A, whatever monster comes into the zone and eats part of that body, it will leave a bit of whatever evidence is left there. Or B, it really just varies depending on the game and conditions. Now I don't know what type of conditions it has to be made, and I don't know whether this is something that whatever monster is in the zone that eats from carcass, it affects the most, but this is something I need to further check on my own. And hopefully, if I can find out information, I can do a few runs, see what it comes out, and then eventually give back the information back to the community. Now before I wrap this video up, let me quickly explain how effective they are for searching for items in the world. 
When you move about and around the different zones, you may notice near the bottom left of your screen certain items that appear, such as herbs, honey, nuts, and monster footprints. These are all little indications that your scout fighters have found an item you may need, and they all vary depending on the zone you're in. So if you're in a grassy area with lots of trees, then you're more likely to find herbs and nuts. While in volcanic areas, you may find more minerals and rocks, and so forth. Pay attention to this notification, as when you go further into hunter ranks and hunt more powerful monsters, you're going to need to know the best piece to grind for said materials, so you can rank up your gear and be prepared for whatever comes your way. Plus, they're incredibly useful for search for items that you need to combine, such as herbs and honey, which can create potions, and also means you're always prepared for whatever may come your way. Now, there is one important thing you must remember your scout flies though, and that is when you go into a zone and pass by a hostile monsters, your scout flies will turn red and disappear until the threat is gone, or until you leave the danger zone. So it's recommended to either get rid of the threat so your scout flies can reappear and show you where you need to go next, or leave the zone and see where scout flies appear next, as if not, they won't tell you what's in the zone, or where the monster marks are. And that is the end of that. The scout flies are designed to assist you with your hunts and scavengers, and can hopefully make your hunts for monsters or items a lot more easier as long as you pay attention to the signs. I do hope this video explained the basics for what scout flies are and do, and if anything, leave a comment if you need to know anything else. If not, then I would appreciate a like, maybe a sub, or even a share. So thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon.